All right, everybody, how are we doing today? So this is interesting. This is from The Hill. Hold on, there we go. <clears throat> anyway, this is from The Hill, verified source. And it says, um, Horowitz report shows FBI launched Trump campaign investigation on thinnest of suspicions. Uh, Attorney General William Barr said that a newly released Justice Department watchdog report showed that the FBI launched an intrusive investigation of President Trump's campaign on the thinnest of suspicions. Barr also said that the report from Justice Department Inspector General Michael Horowitz showed that, in his opinion, the FBI had an insufficient basis to justify steps taken in the investigation of the Trump campaign in 2016, putting him at odds with Horowitz, who concluded in the report that the Bureau had an authorized purpose to open the investigation. It is also clear that from its inception, the evidence produced by the investigation was consistently ex uh, exculpatory. Nevertheless, the investigation and surveillance has pushed forward for the duration of the campaign and deep into President Trump administration, Barr said. Guess what? It's that time again. Time to learn a word. Because every now and again, when you read news stories like this, you do find words you've never heard before. I'm always up to expand my vocabulary. It's what smart people do. Okay, so exculpatory. It says, tending to clear someone, especially a suspect of guilt or blame, exonerative. Fitted or intended to clear from a, from a charge or fault or guilt, exonerating, excusing as. Okay, now we know what that means. <clears throat> anyway, the Attorney General also said that the FBI officials misled the FISA court, omitted uh, critically ex uh, exculpatory facts from their filings and suppressed or ignored information neg negating the reliability of their principal source. In a rush to maintain surveillance warrants on members of the Trump campaign, while most of the misconduct identified by the Inspector General is committed in 2016-2017 by a small group of now former FBI officials, the malfeasance and misfeasance detailed in the Inspector General's report reflects a clear abuse of FISA process, Barr said. Barr issued the statement shortly after Horowitz released his long-awaited report. Examining the FBI's action in the investigation into the Trump campaign in Russia interference in 2016, Horowitz's report is critical of the FBI's handling of the warrant application under the used the, to surveil former Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. This has been pretty typical so far of anyone trying to investigate or otherwise get rid of Trump. He has more honesty in his little finger than they have in their entire bodies. And sometimes that's the problem. I believe it was Socrates who said, is it kind, is it fair, and is it true? Or something to that effect. He was speaking about how to deliver the truth and saying that it's... Oh, no, 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 is it kind, is it useful, is it true? He was speaking on the idea of telling the truth with utility and speaking in a very compassionate way, sort of easing the person into the truth, especially if the truth was harsh. And of course, truth is often harsh, but Trump does not really speak the truth with any utility. He just kind of pushes you into it. He, he loves ripping off band-aids. He's kind of a bully in that way, but at least he's telling you the truth. Better that than never being told the truth at all. It's still a dick move, but at least that's better than never telling the truth at all. But all in all, uh, they keep throwing everything they can at Trump to get rid of him, because boo-hoo, we lost 2016! That's all it's ever been, is Democratic butthurt. And they got the FBI to go, to go with it because... Well, I don't know why. Aside from going to a full-on conspiracy theory... I don't know, maybe there's a lot of democratically aligned people in the FBI. And maybe they're giving the uh, the Democrats a plug. So I don't really think that the C that CNN or any of the major news networks are actually uh, in bed with the Democrats directly, per se. But maybe that they're just democratically aligned and giving the party a plug. It doesn't have to be a conspiracy. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You understand. The Democrats don't like... Trump, the FBI doesn't like Trump. So there doesn't need to be a conspiracy. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But anyway, 
As the article goes forward, the report states the FBI agents who worked on the probe were more not motivated by political bias in their decisions to investigate the Trump campaign bullshit, undercutting a key talking point from Trump and his Republican allies. Uh, Horowitz also concluded the Bureau had an authorized purpose to launch an investigation to obtain information about or to protect against a national security threat or federal crime, even though the investigation also had the potential to impact constitutionality protected activity. Barr on Monday thanked Horowitz for his work on the inquiry, saying it was, provi it was it has provided critical transparency and accountability, and his work is a credit to the Department of Justice. Barr, tapped by Trump to serve as Attorney General last year, has authorized a separate investigation of the origins of the Russian interference probe, tapping the U.S. Attorney in Connecticut, John Durham, to lead the investigation. Durham's office also issued a statement Monday disagreeing with some of the conclusions of Horowitz's report as the as to prediction and how the FBI case was has ha was happened was opened, though he did not elaborate further. Our investigation has included developing information from other persons and, and entities, both in the U.S. and outside of the U.S. Durham said, based on the evidence collected to date, and while our investigation is ongoing, last month we advised the Inspector General that we do not agree with some of the report's conclusions as to prediction and how the FBI case was opened. Well, I hope they certainly managed to avoid any kind of undue speculation. That would serve to make people defending Trump look bad. We shouldn't speculate as to any uh, conspiracy theories or anything of the like. We should try and do our best uh, as people who support Donald Trump, and I uh, reluctantly and begrudgingly support Trump. Because uh, there there's things he does that really makes me feel like I want to literally pull my hair out of my head. Best president ever? Fuck no. Decent president? Yeah, he's all right. He's aver he's he's average at worst, maybe a little above average at best. But I do support him, and I do characterize uh, the attempts to get him removed as pure, unadulterated butt hurt. They're just butt hurt. They lost. That's all there is to it. I was saying that from the very beginning, and everything that has come out since has only seemed to to vindicate my belief on that. Trust me, you don't want me to have a fuck you, I was right moment. You do not want that. <laughs> because honestly, a lot of the time, when I'm right about something, it's usually never pretty. Why can't I ever be right about something good? Why does it always have to be bad? Why, why, am, I, why am I the prophet of doom? I'm getting tired of that role. But anyway, nonetheless, there's definitely something going on. Is it pure bias, or is it just the uh, the FBI being arbitrary? Either way, I think they're being pushed into an arbitrary investigation. They're being weaponized by Trump's opponents with subtle manipulation so that the FBI doesn't appear to be biased. You know, they're fed false or questionable information, and then they act on that information, that sort of thing. That's just how I look at it, but either way, no matter how you look at it, there's something fishy about the FBI's investigation into this case. Anyway, peace!